Argentina fans are chanting, cheering and enjoying the World Cup to the fullest in Qatar. And they are doing it from the comfort of home. That's because locals like Abdullah al Binali and his father have set up special sitting rooms next to their house called Majlis in Arabic to host women parties. This reflects on our culture and heritage as Arabs, and these are our traditions, and these are the things that we were raised for. As you can see, there are people coming from everywhere. Our job is to show them the idea of Arabs, and we want to show the West our traditions. They serve fans traditional foods and drinks for free and watch World Cup games on a big screen. The hashtag invite them to your majlis has gained traction online with Qataris sharing their hospitality. Traveling is not just knowing a place, it's knowing its culture, it's knowing its people, it's knowing its food. And this is amazing. I, I mean, we came for football, but we came for way more. And that's what we are experiencing, knowing the people, connecting with, with the local people, with the food. Those visiting the Gulf nation for the first time say they're excited to discover new things off the pitch too. Well, it actually brings us the opportunity to know the culture of the country that hosts the World Cup this year. And it's a great chance for us as Argentinians to know another culture so different from ours. This year's World Cup has brought an estimated 1.5 million visitors from around the world to Qatar. And as they share matches and memories, it's a true example of FIFA's motto, football unites the world. Remain Sachodar, TRT World.